Tony, it's your first competitive match as Celtic manager. What kind of game are you expecting? Well, hopefully an entertaining one, hopefully some goals. Um, I think I, I want to try and produce a football team that the supporters can be proud of and uh, a team that can can play in, in the fashion that um, that the, 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 the people, the, the fans are happy with. And yet obviously we've got to create a winning team as well and uh, try and get that marriage right. Um, and that's that's what we, we're striving for. And, you know, we're only very early in that process. We're four games into pre-season. Competitive game. It's uh, you know we still go and try and win them as we've tried to win the last few. How important do you think it is that Celtic get a, a good result tonight if they are to progress in the competition? Well, it will help enormously. Of course, it's uh, it's always difficult when you're chasing a second leg. I think, and um, particularly with European football, when teams can be so good at counter-attacking, which is why tonight's game is very, very dangerous as well. It's um, they're a good side. They've got a lot of good footballers, and uh, they've got a lot of pace in the team. So we must be uh, very wary of that. And yet we um, we have a responsibility to go and try and score some goals and, uh, and win the football game. And the two goal scorers that you've hopefully went with this evening, Scott McDonald and, and Fortuny, how difficult a decision was it to leave Chris Killen out the side considering the form that, that he's shown pre-season? Well, they're all tough decisions, whether it's the centre-forwards or the centre-halves. I thought you know, Darren O'Day was, was awesome at, at Wembley at the weekend. And um, you know, they're, they're all big decisions. Ultimately, that's, that's your job to make big decisions. And... And ultimately, we get judged by the decisions we make. If the team wins, every decision was right. If the team loses, you know, you've made a few bad ones. But um, that's part of this job. You have to you have to accept that. You, uh, I pick a team for the benefit of the of the supporters and the club to try and win the game, and, uh, and that's what we've done tonight. Dinamo Moscow are, of course, a good bit through their season. Do you think that will give them any kind of advantage? Well, in the, in the terms potentially of fitness, it will do. You know, as I said, we're we four games into pre-season, pre-season where we've had to try and hit the ground running, not as if we've been able to play at half pace and, and, and ease our way into football matches and get our shape and pattern right. It was really, you know, f foot to the pedal, you know, hard down really from day one. And uh, you know, I think that's made the difference to go to Wembley and play against the Tottenham side, for instance, full of superstar footballers with a, with a very young side and win. I think the intensity was the difference in, the, in of the two teams. Um, and we've got to try and make that intensity count tonight. We've got to, you know, the Russian football at times can be methodical and slow build up. We've got to try and make sure that they're not allowed to do that, and uh, and we get after them tonight. You travelled to Russia, of course, at the weekend to take in their game. How confident are you that this current squad of players that you have here at Celtic can defeat them over the two legs? Well, I've got to be confident, it's, um, and yet I'm very, very aware of how difficult it'll be. They're a good side, as I said. It's, um, it's always getting the balance between not building them up to be world beaters, but trying to get some realism into it that we're not playing against any mugs here. We're playing against a very, very well-organised, fit, athletic team, and... Um, we're going to have to be at our best and you know, hopefully with the, the supporters behind us we can give ourselves an advantage after tonight. Good luck.